Right, hello, good evening, welcome, and hello, wherever and whoever you are. See, I'm waving at you. Yes, you. Let's get a move on, shall we? My name is Paul. You've possibly seen my daily teasers floating past on my channel, but you possibly also may or may not realise I watch the occasional movie. I haven't done for a while. I should do. Should try and sort something out like that. Um, but I also watch TV shows, and that's what I'm going to try and talk about tonight. Um, I'm a blogger, so you know I write knickknacks all peculiar, and I've just watched and done the written review on my blog of the last episode of series one of The Mandalorian. But I thought I should do what I've been doing for the past few weeks and tell you about it in person. Let me try and summarise the final episode of series one of The Mandalorian. It's chapter eight, episode eight, and it's called Redemption. <laughs> chapter eight starts or picks up from last week's episode or the last episode I saw, episode 7, showing us the two unnamed stormtroopers who kidnapped the child, killed by IG-11, played by Taika Watiti, when he rescues the child. Whilst that is happening, the Mandalorian, Cara Dean, and Grief Karga, Pedro Pascal, Gina Carino, uh, Carano, Gina Carano, and Carl Weathers are trapped in town where Moff Gideon, Giancarlo Esposito, has got them seriously cornered with a huge great bazooka. I mean, it's a huge bazooka. Their only way out, their only way of avoiding that great big bloody gun, is through the sewers. And it's only with the help of the child they've got him with them. Once the IG-11 turns up at the building, it's only with the help of the child that the group get out alive and get to the underground layer of one of the other Mandalorians, or the only other Mandalorian, left alive. The Armourer, played by Emily Swallow. The Armourer can only offer so much help, mostly ammunition, but she can also offer some information. The child's mental powers seem to make him kin to an ancient bunch of sorcerers that the Mandalorians once thought long ago. I wonder who they are. Now, now we've got two questions. What did I make of Redemption, Chapter 8, and what did I make of the Mandalorian's first series? Overall, I've got to say the answer is pretty much the same for both. They were both pretty good. This last episode, um, was effectively part two of a two-parter alongside episode seven and it's a great little second half it rounds it off nice and quickly it fills in some of the questions about the Mandalorian we now know his game name is Din Jaren. Um we now know more of his backstory we now know more about the Mandalorians themselves and I have to say that was fantastic to see We've also got um, an interesting new villain in the shape of Moff Gideon, uh, who comes complete comes complete with what Wikipedia calls a dark saber. It seems to be a custom lightsaber. It's entertaining to see. So, quite what that is implying, I really don't know. Um, I will say this, the series has been very entertaining over the course of this eight episodes, and frankly, frankly that means just one thing. It means I'm going to be looking forward to part series two. That's out on October the 30th, and I hope you would like to join me in watching it. Have fun, take care, good night, I'll see you the next time I see you. Check out the teasers, have a good day, enjoy your weekend.